Hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steve. Going to do a Steelbook Disney review on The Lion King. So this uh, particular release uh, actually has a custom slip on there. This came from a DVD uh, edition. I just kind of trimmed it down at the ends to make it fit a Blu-ray. Uh, so there's the front and back. So it's the it's a Blu-ray. I'm mean, sorry, it's a DVD um, slip. I just kept it because I thought it was kind of cool. But here's the actual uh, metal pack itself. It's actually not a Steelbook. It's a metal pack. Uh, it comes to us from Best Buy when Best Buy was releasing um, the Disney animated films. And again, you can tell it's a metal pack because you can see the little white uh, or clear plastic borders where Steelbooks are all uh, one piece. Metal packs are a little bit different. But anyway, this is the front. Uh, it's, a, I think, a really cool cover. This is the reason why I kept this when I didn't upgrade to the uh, Zabby. Uh, they released a 3D Steelbook edition. There was a worldwide edition. Target released a Digibook version of this. Uh, Best Buy also had um, the new version, uh, which is the Signature Collection, which has a couple of new special features. And then Zabby once again released another type of lenticular cover. I haven't updated. This is still mine from way back when, when it was the Diamond Edition. I think, I'm thinking about getting maybe the 3D version of it and just uh, porting over the Blu-ray discs, the Diamond Edition discs over. But in any case, uh, this is it right here. You've got some embossing on the, uh, on the cover. I just like the simple elegance of the black. you got the little Simba symbol that's embossed that you can see there, and then you can have this this very uh, uh, interesting looking border that we're seeing there. So there's the side there, the Lion King, and there's the back. I just like the black of it. I think the, the it's very elegant. And there's the back, not embossed here. So front and back, again, it's simple. It's, it's kind of elegant, uh, very cool looking uh, dynamic here of the, uh, st of the metal pack. If we look internal, uh, what we're going to have is a three three uh, disc set here. Um, Best Buy released them with uh, room for uh, upgrades. So you've got the background here, which I think is really cool. This is like original art of uh, Mufasa in the background. Here's the Blu-ray of uh, here's the Blu-ray itself, and they also kept the two DVDs, the the uh, special edition, and I'll tell you why in a second. And there's the back art there. So very cool uh, dynamic here in terms of the flow of the art. Um, the uh, room for improvement, if you will, by keeping uh, the DVDs and adding on to, to it with the Diamond Edition. Uh, they also gave you a little uh, Blu-ray guide, uh, which is pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, it's, it's, it's not too bad to navigate through. The reason why I kept the DVDs is because uh, there are a lot of special features that are not ported over onto the Blu-ray, and I'll list them out for you uh, below so you can see the difference. But I would not get rid of... Um, the DVD uh, versions of them. Uh, Disney had something called Disney Blu-ray Live, I think it used to be called, uh, but that went down. And a lot of the special features were supposed to be ported over to this digital kind of domain, but I don't think they ever worked it out properly or it had a lot of bugs because I've tried multiple times and I just can't get access it no matter what I do to gain uh, internet access through the Blu-ray, which I can do with other movies, but just not the Disney ones. And also keep in mind that the Signature series just came out, and they also have a couple new exclusive features. So if you're completist, you probably want to keep your Diamond Edition or get the Diamond Edition, retain your special uh, DVD editions, and then get the uh, Signature series. And also, this is one of the few Disney films that also come in 3D. This one, I think, in Beauty and the Beast are the two kind of classic Disney films that uh, are also... Uh, 3D, so you might want to get that one as well. So there's a lot to look at when it comes to The Lion King and uh, the, the releases there. So make your choices accordingly. If it were up to me, I'd probably upgrade mine to a, a Zabby Steelbook.